take a look at Delhi almost touching 80, 79.15 the petrol prices this morning at 6 a.m. when they were released in Mumbai 86.56. That is petrol. Kolkata 82.06 and Chennai at 82.24. And that perhaps is the reason why uh, some Mumbaikers, particularly the likes of Dia Mirza, are not quite happy with what has happened. And she says, some days I wonder if Mumbai pays a bigger price for being the highest contributor to the, to the national exchequer. Pay more because you pay, is what she has said. Remember, uh, the minister who has spoken about it, Dhirendra Pradhan, had also mentioned it very clearly that this is because of an international uh, ripple effect in a sense. And Madan uh, Sabno is a chief economist, Care Ratings, uh, joins us on the phone line for more on this. Can you explain what's going on, sir? See, there are two things which are happening. One is that the price of crude oil remains uh, elevated. And the second is that we have seen that the Indian rupee has been depreciating against the dollar for a variety of reasons. So if we combine these two factors, uh, they have actually impacted the overall uh, rupee cost of uh, petrol and diesel. And that's what we are experiencing in the market today. Now, the important thing is that there is an important component which is there in terms of the taxes and duties which are levied by the central and the state governments. Both of them are out of the GST. So in case the prices have to come down, one of the levels of the government may have to compromise on their uh, tax collections, which probably is not being done. So that's one of the reasons as to why we are having this, these elevated prices. All right, but uh, in, in the near... In the near future, which of the two do you think uh, the government is likely to compromise on, taxes or duties? No, I have a feeling it's going to be more at the state level because we do have certain state elections coming up. So therefore, the state governments which impose a VAT may be probably inclined to lower the rates in order to make sure that the prices are more acceptable. Because in the pre-election year, uh, higher uh, prices of uh, fuel also get uh, translated into higher transportation costs, which could affect the prices of goods and services. So I do think that finally, in case the, the rupee continues depreciating for a longer period of time, then the governments will have to step in and uh, lower their uh, duties in order to uh, rein in the prices. When does the government start to think that, yes, now we'll have to step in? No, I think it will all depend upon how they look upon the exchange rate. Because currently, we also at Care Ratings, you believe that what we're seeing in the currency market is not going to be something which is sustainable since it's happening more on account of global factors, which are the main volatile. And we do expect an equilibrium to return probably in a month or two. Now, it depends upon whether the state governments and the central government also take a similar kind of a view. So if we believe that the, the rupee depreciation is a temporary phenomenon and it will mean revert at some point of time, then probably no action will be taken. But in case it is felt that it's going to last for a longer period of time, then we could definitely see some kind of intervention coming in. Because in the absence of intervention, I think the prices are just going to keep increasing and there's no way in which it's going to slow down. Because we do feel that even the international price of crude oil will remain in the current range in the range of around $75 to manual. All right, well, thanks so much uh, for that. Let's go across to Shekhar Suman, who is joining us on the phone line to talk about fuel prices. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, what do you want to say? Well, there's nothing to say, I and mean, people still reeling under a shock. I think it's a great uh, blow to the common man, the poor and especially the middle class. I think the fuel price hike for the 16th consecutive day is causing a lot of anxiety and heartburn and disappointment among the general public. I mean, this is, I guess, uh, directly going to affect the livelihood of the common people. I mean, uh, you know, the promise of Achhe Din is uh, actually uh, creating quite a din, din as in a pro. So the government should, um, I guess, uh, immediately uh, do a rollback and bring down the prices before the people of this country bring down the government. People of the country have condemned, in a way, the uh, uh, the led government. It was increased in the world price. 14, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised that, that, that soon we'll have to keep our cars in our drawing room just as a showpiece or other vehicles because it's... You see, the common person is just... They're, they're not concerned about uh, the problems probably the government is facing or their continuous... Uh, uh, you know, logic of saying uh, that things are getting affected because of the interna international prices going up, the dollar going up, etc., everything. The common man, the common person is just concerned that we were promised a chedin and we were told that the prices are not going to have a hike. 
and uh, you know i mean every every single day when they see a hike and they 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 majorly disappointed so, so the government has to do something about it instead of just going uh, you know becoming very uh, uh, defensive and uh, giving a, a hundred reasons for this because you know people now i think running out of patience